Hi ladies, I hope you are ready for some spring cleaning motivation because in today's video we are doing it all. We are cleaning, organizing, decluttering, um, basically all the things for spring and specifically in my kitchen today. And as you can see, we are starting under the sink. There is just a lot of stuff in there. And for the longest time, I was trying to figure out how to organize it under the sink because I cannot tell you how many times I have watched other uh, ladies do organization under the sink and, or pictures on Pinterest and it all looked so amazing in my sink or under my sink the space is so limited like on this video it looks like well you know it's there's plenty of space but the way those pipes are um, configured under my sink it does not leave enough space for a lot of the, you know, the organizers. Um, I wanted to put like drawers, like, you know, the, those um, organizer with like two drawers or different levels and none of them fit. I have tried before. I think it was like a video I did a long time ago where I bought that organizer without, you know, measuring first and it ended up in my bathroom because it would not fit. So um, I was recently in Target and I saw some organizers and I did, you know, make sure I go home and measure under my sink and they did fit. So I finally decided to um, go for it and try to organize it. So it just looks a little nicer and also it's more functional because I usually have to dig through a lot of stuff to get to what I want. So let me know how does it look under your sink? Is it nicely organized? Are you still in the process? Or you just don't care how it is. It's under the sink and it is what it is. So let me know what kind of person you are when it comes to under the sink organization. You wanna let me go now, now, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know now, now, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart. And as you can see, I'm doing my typical, trying to figure out how I'm going to put things. So I was trying to figure out those lazy Susans, how that's going to work. Now, those are small, again, because I don't have a lot of space under that sink. Um, so I was trying to figure out how to put everything. I decided to just use one of them for like the most um, used items that I have to put on it. But, you know, I was trying to configure that before I started organizing and doing um, putting things into the bins so that definitely is a process I feel like watching a video it's like oh it's so easy you just put it in but believe me there was a lot of things I had to cut out um, otherwise that video would take forever and before I forget if you are new here welcome my name is Marta I am a full-time working mom of two kids my kids are nine and six and along with my husband, we live in the suburbs of Chicago. So the spring cleaning, when we are doing it, we get all kinds of weather. We get days where we have 70 and we get days when we got 30s. So it's really a mix up of everything. But spring cleaning definitely makes me feel like, you know, the warm weather is coming and gets me excited for the summer because I am definitely not a huge fan of winter. But if this is your first time stopping by, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. You're gonna uh, see a lot of videos about decluttering, cleaning, organizing, basically a lot of things related to household management from a working mom perspective. And if you are coming back as a subscriber, I am so happy to have you here.
And I have to ask and be honest, do you also have so many cleaning products or is it just me? Because I feel like I've went through all the stuff under the sink a few times before and I went through it now. And as you can see, it's still a lot of stuff that I have. <laughs> I know there are some people who just have a couple of cleaning products and just use F like one type for everything. And it seems I am not that person. I have just, I don't know, all kinds of things in there, as you can see. So the decluttering did not go as well as in other parts of my house. Now, I am using all those products, so it's not like I'm just keeping it there. But, you know, I, I still, when you look at it, it still looks like a lot of things. So I have a few things that I push like in the back where... We don't use it as often so like things for cleaning the oven um or like the product use i think was a goo gun when you know, if anything is sticking we need to clean it up so we use it from time to time so i try to push those all the way in the back but still there is a lot of things that i have um as far as like cleaning products supplies all the clothes you see me folding so so let me know if um if you also have a problem with having too many cleaning products me more than once to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now somehow i'll give you my attention you've got to know that i i ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance you make me feel so If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me So this is the final product. Um, as you can see, I put the bins, all of the ones you see on the right, those are from Target. Um, I put um, different types of like um, floor cleaning cloths in the back on the bottom. On the top, I just have those for um, dusting, um, some supplies like extra gloves and stuff. Um, and what I wanna do is put one pair of gloves on the side of the door. So the ones that I'm using, like right there, put like a little hook and put those on there. Um, and like I said, on that little um, Lazy Susan, those are the four I use every single day. So I put them there and just, you know, all the, the little things and it looks nice. I must say, I am happy that I did this. It was a long time coming. It might not be perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. And that's the leftover or the aftermath. So uh, lots of things to throw away and some things that I need to take to my basement because we just don't use it that often. Plus some things like, you know, um, leftover from those um, dishwasher pods, things that I keep in my basement, anything extra so I can refill it as I need to. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I want to dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home, our home And this is what I was talking about Just a comment hook and a binder clip that I put on top so I can hang my gloves, the ones that I'm using on a daily basis, and just you know easily keep them in and out. Our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. Okay, so as you can see, it's the next day. 
or actually a week later from the last time I recorded it. It's 9.32 on Saturday. The plan for today is I want to move the KitchenAid, which is right there, into the cabinet so I can create a little coffee bar. Um, I ordered some things off of Amazon. They're going to be coming probably tomorrow, so that's probably going to be the next video. But I want to make space for it. So this is where I'm going to put it. So this is what it currently looks like. And I actually messed up with the shelving to move the one um, that's right there. Move it up a little bit so the kitchen aid can fit. So I have to just rearrange some things and make sure that it fits there so it frees up the space on my kitchen counter. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. And I did mention that in my previous videos for sure that, you know, I typically don't do cleaning um, just like in one day. If I have any projects like this, organizing or decluttering, it's usually over a span of few days. I feel, you know, as a working mom, weekends are the only time I can do those things. So, you know, obviously besides cleaning and decluttering and all that, there's, you know, other things that I have to do and want to do, like, you know, spend time with my husband and my kids. So um, typically that's, you know, when I record videos, it's, you know, how I truly do it in the house. It's not on one day. Um, it's spent across a few days. And I did organize this pantry um, probably a year ago, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to link that original video down below. Um, and, you know, as with everything, as we start using our pantries, our spaces that we organize, you know, things will change, whether it is our preferences change for what types of food we have, the amount of snacks. That was one of the things that I noticed. We have way too many kinds of snacks. Um, so I definitely decluttered that and decided, you know what, we finish one type of a chip, you're gonna, we can switch to another, but it just was getting cluttered in there. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, every, every once in a while, every few months, I will go through this and kind of reorganize it a little bit. So it functions better because once you start using it, you kind of notice, well, this, this was a good idea when I was setting it up, but once I started using it, it's not working exactly how I want it. So maybe I want, you know, these things organized a specific way or put on a different shelf. So um, if you are just start, starting with like the cluttering journey, because that's definitely what I'm on right now, or, you know, you're trying to organize your kitchen, don't feel like it has to be, you know, perfect from the beginning. And, you know, it has to function the way that you have it in your head, the way you put it in. So just kind of use it. Um, for a while and see what works and what doesn't and just adjust as you go. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing on someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work. Another thing that happens often is if I have too many kinds of snacks I forget what I have and I end up throwing some things away because they have expired So that's another lesson I keep on learning um, Hopefully I will learn it one day to just kind of limit the amount of different varieties of food that we have because you, we don't use it up.
So the bottom part of the pantry is done, but this is the top. So it's not looking bad or anything. There's some on the very top, maybe some disorganization with those containers. But what I want to do is perhaps move all the like the oils and vinegars on the other side of the kitchen so I can move the baking stuff from all the way on the top down. So this is the cabinet that I have next to the stove top. So I have all my spices on the bottom and this is where I kind of like a mix and match of different things that is not working for me. So I'm thinking of on the lower one putting all like the um, the cooking stuff, you know, the oils, vinegars and stuff like that on the lower one. I have one of those left from when I bought it for under the sink organization. So it fits here, I just checked. So I might try that and kind of reorganize it a little bit. So it's gonna be a process, guys. I you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I have a plug in my head, but I don't know how all of that is gonna work. So we'll see. Let me ask you guys where do you keep your toaster does it stay on your countertop is it hidden away because as you can see this is my problem right there <laughs> all those crumbs um it's it's convenient to keep it there so it doesn't clutter in my countertop but at the same time it's it doesn't last longer than a day without some crumbs being in there so i'm just curious where do you keep yours and if it's in a pantry or in some cabinet, is it as messy as mine? Because maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe. And I tried to empty the little tray on the bottom, but that doesn't help much. Um, and maybe it's also the fact our toaster has been... We had it since our wedding, so um, almost 11 years ago. We got it as a wedding gift and we, you know, so maybe it's it's just time to change it, although my husband has a hard time letting it go. So we'll see, but I'm just interested to know if yours creates as much mess as mine does. So over here I was putting another comment hook and putting my measuring spoons in there. I used to have it on the side of the cabinet, like inside. And I decided since now I have all those cooking oils and vinegars inside to put it on the side of the door. And it has been now a week that I did that and I do not like it. So I'm gonna find a way to put it inside just a little higher because every time I open, the cabinet it makes the noise because it's it's moving on the door so it's just i'm just not a fan so that's gonna go back inside because when it's inside i don't hear it it's it's functioning very well when it was hanging but it, it's just i need to hang it inside and there are quite a few things like that as i was you know cleaning and organizing um you know when something seems like a good idea and you start using it and it's just it's just not. <laughs> so 
um, if you are like that as well, don't um, don't think you're the only one because it, it definitely, sometimes you just have to go through trial and error to see what actually works for you. Here we go. This is the end product. Um, it still probably looks a little cluttered. They're not very deep, the shelves, I mean. Um, so, you know, you kind of see two rows in some spaces, but um, I definitely did declutter quite a few things from there, um, mostly snacks. And I am so happy that that um, KitchenAid was able to fit in my pantry. And the last, again, the comment hook in there, I decided to put one of the parts for my KitchenAid because one of the things I always notice is I have to, you know, a look, well not look, but grab from a higher shell like that one particular piece because I, you know, I use one or the other. So I figured I'm going to put it right next to it. So it's just much more convenient and I don't have to take out, you know, a chair to find something on a top shell. You started a fire somewhere deep in my mind. See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa And then it was time to clean basically the wall. <laughs> uh, and I'm laughing because as I was cleaning, I was like, why is my like window so dirty? Like it's like literal dirt on it. Why is there so many marks on my wall? And I keep on, you know, forgetting that we have a bigger dog now that puts her paws everywhere, especially on that window. Because when we come into the house, we drive <laughs> on the side of the house to get to the garage so she likes to put her paws there to make sure you know that she can see us so yeah I, as i was cleaning i had the realization that yeah that's definitely our puppy well i guess i don't know she's still a puppy she's a year old um i can't remember if they stay a puppy for a year or two um but yeah i wanted to clean the outside of the cabinets because i did i think show you on a previous video how dirty they were on the outside and i didn't get to it last time so i wanted to make sure that i do a good job with cleaning that because as much as i love my white cabinets they definitely get dirty much faster i'm telling you Your hope 
and that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it gave you some motivation to um, spring clean in your kitchen it definitely is a really good feeling to know that i just cleaned it that everything is nicely organized and more functional for uh, for me and for my family so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time In my life.